Let's talk about how to detoxify your lungs. What is the best way? Okay, we're talking about detoxifying pollution, the chemicals from smoking. And by the way, since you probably already know this, but there's 7,000 chemicals in cigarette smoke. Uh, 250 are harmful and 69 actually are carcinogenic. I mean, there's even a radioactive element in smoking. You have ammonia, you have formaldehyde, hydrogen cyanide, and even cadmium, which is a heavy metal. And you have firsthand smoking, and then you have secondhand smoking, right? But there's also thirdhand smoking, all the chemical particles that end up like on furniture, clothing that you come in contact with as well. And of course, the goal of you probably watching this is to reduce your risk of cancer and things like that. But there's another big problem that is associated with smoking, and that is COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. 12 million people in the United States have COPD. So I'm going to share some information on how to prevent that. And if you have it, what to do to improve it. But smoking is not the only issue here. Uh, you have pollution in the air. You have cleaning supply chemicals. You have mold and mildew in your house. You even have something called radon gas that can actually affect your lungs. And then also if we compound that with pre-existing infections to the lung, it can lead to some major problems. And just so you know, like lung cancer doesn't always come from smoking. It can be referred or they called spread from other organs. And so if your lung has inflammation in it, okay, it becomes a target for cancer because cancer tends to spread in areas of inflammation. So the key thing with this video is all about inflammation in the lung and how to reduce it because anytime you have inflammation, you then get scar tissue, fibrosis, and then it gets to a point where it becomes irreversible. So when a toxin comes in contact with your lung tissue, um, it irritates it. It's gonna start creating inflammation. And then over time, if there's a chronic exposure to that toxin, you start developing fibrosis. And you also, at the same time, get a lowered amount of your own antioxidants that are there to protect the lung. So you have this insult or free radical damage situation and a lowering of the protective mechanism of your own body's antioxidants goes down. But what a lot of people don't realize is that these chemicals that go into the lung go systemic. They don't stop at the lung. And a lot of them end up in the liver. So the liver is at the heart of the detoxification system. So it's going to take those poisons that are in uh, cigarettes or pollution, and it's going to dismantle them, hopefully. And it does this through a series of um, enzyme interactions called phase one, phase two, phase three detoxification enzymes. But there gets to a point where it becomes overloaded, where the liver cannot uh, keep up with this, especially if it's a chronic exposure to these chemicals, the liver starts to develop uh, inflammation. It can even develop um, fat from inflammation. As you filled up the lungs with chemicals and pollution, it can end up in the arteries and create a lot of heart problems. But I think the key note here is chronic exposure, okay? Chronic exposure, not exposure here and there that your liver can easily deal with this, but it's just a routine chronic exposure over a long period of time. That's where we have a problem. Let's jump right into what to do about it. There's some really interesting data on probably one of the best uh, protective remedies for your lung as well as the liver. And it's very different than what you're going to find when you do searches on detoxifying your lungs, because normally they're going to talk about, you know, herbs that help you stop coughing might decrease swelling. But this other herb that I'm going to mention is probably the most potent, not just because what it can do for your lung, but what it can do for your liver. And that herb is milk thistle. Milk thistle is one of the best antidotes to poison. So if you poison yourself from either a snake bite or a poisonous mushroom or toxins, or you're just taking medications, you should be taking milk thistle to protect the liver. Well, it just so happens that that same protection occurs in your lungs as well. So if you have COPD or you're a smoker or you're trying to repair your lungs, milk thistle is what you want to start taking because milk thistle is one of the best anti-inflammatories. It's the best protector against toxins. And 
it's a really good remedy if you have COPD um, and also any type of liver problem. Number two, tocotrienols. This is a type of vitamin E that's like 50 times stronger than your regular vitamin E called the tocopherols. So tocotrienols are all about getting rid of uh, free radical damage. It's a very powerful antioxidant. It's a very powerful anti-inflammatory. And it's especially good to prevent fibrosis. So that stage where you go from inflammation to scar tissue. There's a lot of data that talks about tocotrienol helping prevent uh, scar tissue in your arteries and then the liver, but also in your lungs. So tocotrienols are a number two remedy, especially uh, to reduce inflammation. And number three, vitamin D. You wanna take this probably in 20,000 IUs, but vitamin D is a very powerful anti-inflammatory and it's really good for COPD, any type of lung inflammation, as well as any autoimmune diseases. Now, there are some interesting links between COPD and autoimmune. You may have antibodies against your own lung tissue if you have COPD. And this is something you'd have to have tested, but I wanna bring it up because it is an issue. And if you have antibodies that are creating this inflammation in your lungs, um, this goes beyond just being exposed to toxins. This is your immune system that's misidentifying your lungs as a pathogen. Vitamin D is gonna be very important in this additional remedy. So if you have antibodies against your own lung tissue, I'm gonna recommend a product from another company that I'm not affiliated with. It's called Standard Process, and the product is called Pneumotrophin PMG. You just take one of those before bed, and that can potentially act as a decoy. So these antibodies can then attack it and not your lungs, giving your lungs a chance to heal and regenerate. Now, since we're on the topic of good herbs to prevent inflammation, I think it would probably be appropriate to learn a little bit more about this milk thistle. And for that, you should check this video right here.